Our next guest contacted us for help with her back pain. She says the pain is so bad, it's taking over her life. Six years ago, I was at work at my desk and a severe pain came over me in my back. I just had to lay down on the floor because I couldn't take my own body weight anymore. So I'm sitting there thinking I did not trip over anything. I wasn't punched in my back. I didn't know what it was. I ended up seeing a back specialist. They said that it was a severe strain, but there was nothing he could do about it. I tried everything, acupuncture, cortisone shots, medication, massages, at-home therapy with my tennis ball, hot pads, but no matter what I do, I still spend about 90% of my day in pain. I used to go to dance classes, and I love to travel. I don't do that anymore. And the little things that people do every day, like driving or washing your own hair, makes me hurt. If it's this bad in my 30s, how's it gonna be when I'm 60, 70, 80? But I feel like an old person, like I'm limited. I'm just tired of being in pain. Faith joins us. Faith, thank you for sharing your story because back pain is all too common. How's your pain doing now? Right now, I would say I'm at um, a 50%, uh, but by the end of the day, after doing everything that people do every day, and driving and standing, walking, shopping, uh, I'll probably be at Just 90%. normal activity. Yeah. 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 The whole, it starts at that one spot in my back, but the whole back you know, becomes on fire. We look at you, you look so healthy and young and, exactly. and, and, and vivacious. You don't look to me as the type of person that, you know, would have chronic back pain like that. Yeah. But and that's it, what people it comes think in when all they see shapes you. and sizes. Yes. And then I think that's what makes this so relatable, yeah. Faith. I think anybody watching this can sympathize with neck pain, back pains, putting you out of commission, keeping you from doing the things you love, like exactly. the travel and yes. the driving. I'm so. getting married soon, and oh. just to think about if I do want to have kids, having to carry that belly around and then have to carry the kid around, it's going to add more pain to my back. So I'm just nervous about that, and I just hope that you guys can help and me. And watching you with that, that ball brings back memories for me, because for three years I suffered with pain that was just the same thing, and life's not fun when you're in that kind of pain. And is there one location where it starts and is the worst? Yes, right under my shoulder blade, it's where it just feels like there's a weight hanging mm -hmm. on it or somebody's hanging on it. And if I lay down, it gives a little bit of relief, but not enough relief for me to continue. And for people out there who've suffered with back pain, look, it comes in all shapes and sizes. Yours is higher up in your back. And you know a lot of people will have cervical issues. Some will have thoracic, which is mid back, lumbar regions, the lower back. The reality is more and more people are dealing with this because part of it's also modern society. You know, we sit a lot, we're on our devices a lot, and during the day, this can make things just get worse and worse.